Clear image zoom. You should note that the face detection function is not available when you're using clear image zoom. Sony's marketing people go bananas when describing how wonderful clear image zoom is. It's digital. It's not an optical zoom with your zoom lens. It's a digital zoom. Sony says it's as good as optical zoom and gives you another two powers of telephoto on any lens, even primes. I'll show you an example of the clear image zoom on 1080 video, which I'll scale to 200% so you can see whether you can find any big pixels in the video. As you know, digital zoom crops the recording to a smaller size than the sensor and then introduces pixels that bring the size of the image back out to the full size of the sensor. These introduced pixels are the best guesses of an algorithm, the best guesses of what should be placed in the areas. The guesses are always best guesses, and Sony says their algorithm is better than most. We'll take a look at that and you can make your decision. As I understand it, the sensor size of the FS5 is marketed as Super 35. The sensor size is given as 23.6 millimeters by 13.3 millimeters with a crop factor of 1.6. The FS5 records in 4K as well as 1080, but center scan is available only when you're recording in 1080 and you can't toggle center scan on and off while you're recording. Clear image zoom is available in 4K and 1080, and you can use it while you're recording to zoom in and out. What center scan does is record only to the center of the sensor instead of to the entire sensor. This gives you a two power extension for any lens, zoom or prime. There's no loss of light, nothing is being magnified, the pixels remain the same size, and nothing is added to the image by algorithms. I've recorded 1080 video with the Sony 18 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. It's the kit lens that came with my Sony VG20, which I bought years ago. No matter whether I use clear image zoom, center scan, or both, the lens is a limiting factor in how much I can get out of the, out of the lens. I've zoomed from 18 to 200 millimeters to show you what the optical zoom looks like. Then I added clear image zoom to the optical zoom, reaching something like 400 millimeters on the lens. Then I went to center scan at 1080 and zoomed from the equivalent of 36 millimeters to 400 millimeters with the same lens. Then I went into clear image zoom and added another two power of zoom. Finally, I scaled the videos up to 200% so you can look at the image a little closer. Maybe you can see whether there's a loss of quality visible in the videos. You don't have a say in the center scan, it's two power. But with clear image zoom, you don't have to go all the way out to two power. Maybe one and a half power is close enough and better quality. You decide. My use of clear image zoom and center scan is out in the field. If I'm in a control setting with tripods, I don't need the extra length on my lenses. But if I'm doing a news event on the street or a documentary where I can't use a tripod, or I can use a tripod, but I don't have control over where I can put it, clear image zoom and center scan can come in handy to get me closer to the happening things when I can't get physically closer. If there's any loss of quality in the imagery, I'll hope it's made up for by immediacy and newsworthiness. On a related note, I have another video in this playlist that shows how to assign functions to buttons on the FS5 and I have center scan assigned to a button on my FS5 so I don't have to go menu diving to find it. I may remember to put a link in the note below for equipment tests and reviews.